In today's show, the game that holds special memories for one player and how to keep the state's football flame burning. Hi, I'm Mark Pickley and welcome to The Crow Show, brought to you by the new tender, crunchy, juicy Jack's Fried Chicken Boneless Pieces at Hungry Jack's. Also today, the big man eyes off a new role at the club. But first, when Riley Philthorpe joined the Crows as a top draft pick, fans' expectations were high and the pressure to perform was intense. In the past three seasons, Riley's had to work hard for his position in the team, emerging as a ruck forward with enormous potential. It's been a bit of a roller coaster. Obviously, first year started pretty well with the first game and a couple of nice moments in my first year. And then last year sort of battled through injury a bit. Knew it was going to be ups and downs, but starting so well, you know, it felt pretty good. And then sort of hit me last year that, you know, didn't have the year I wanted with selection and injury and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, had a big preseason. So hoping to rebound this year. That's to the line. Diltorp out of the air. I spent a bit of time in the gym, which is boring at times, but got to get it done and I'm sort of seeing the rewards now. I spend like 45 minutes up there first thing in the morning and then after training spend another 45 doing some loading and um, stuff like that. So a lot of holds and slow uh, movements, which is really boring and <laughs> pretty hard, but yeah, get it done. Probably put on a couple of kilos, but lost a lot of sort of, you know, puppy fat and turned that into muscle, which has been really pleasing. and. Yeah, spent a lot of time in the gym this off-season working on sort of the upper, so got a lot stronger this year, so I'm really excited. The coaches are really good. Riles is really good. Worked really closely with him. Um, I just like honest feedback, so they're pretty pretty open and honest with me. And um, yeah, normally pretty positive, which is nice, but just honest and yeah, tell me what I need to improve on. I want to be an every-time player and bring the ball to ground if I don't mark it. Um, and then finishing off my plays, like I'm doing a lot right. It's just, um, you know, finishing that final piece and holding the mark or kicking the goal, um, which I'm working on. And that is an arrow. That was something I learned pretty early. Deleted Facebook and try to stay off the social medias a bit. Um, but no, nah, I don't really listen to it much outside. It's sort of listen to the coaches and what they have to say. And um, yeah, they're pretty positive and we know what we're working towards. So yeah, just staying positive with that. As we saw in the showdown, Riley will be a huge asset for the club. His combination of height, athleticism and football skills make him one of the more unique players in the AFL. This particular grab shows what he's capable of and why he'll give so many opposition defenders headaches in the coming years. Sloan. And he drives it long. It's a pretty good spot with the kick. Oh, great grab, Philthorpe. Well, could this be the season for Philthorpe, Jamari Eugle Hagen, and a few of those that are in their third season? Oh, I could be a star this bloke. Of course, it's just four days before the Crows kick off the first ever gather round when they take on Carlton here at Adelaide Oval on Thursday night. More about that class shortly. Also ahead, every win is special, but why is this victory particularly memorable? Welcome back. Fans of Sandford footy will see a range of new activities this year aimed at bringing bigger crowds to suburban grounds. League officials want to ensure the future of Australia's oldest football league of any code by encouraging even greater community involvement in the grassroots game. With the help of Bendigo Bank, let's hear more from Sandford CEO Darren Chandler. Pass, we asked a lot of his teammates there and a chance here for the Adelaide Crows outside of the boot. What a start to Rick Newchurch kicks the first goal of the game. Every part of the game has been covered going into gather round and it's just so important that we, you know, we, we, we have a gather round here, we get a huge economic uplift for the state, but we also get some benefits for football which are long lasting and, and are legacy items. We've seen some, some really good solid crowds. Our broadcast numbers um, with Channel 7 have um, been terrific. Last year was the, the best year we've had um, for a long time and it's been gradually getting better and better. So there's genuine interest in sample footy where the people are coming to the games 
or they're watching it on TV, or whether they're watching it by uh, the Sample Now streaming service. Um, so, look, it's, it's probably been exposed more than ever um, in different formats. One thing we have seen some really good growth in is Auskick numbers. So kids aged five to eight who are just starting out playing footy. Um, and then the, the next tier as well, that eight to 10 age group of young kids playing footy, particularly in the, in the Sandville Juniors competition in the metro area. So some really good positive signs there. There's a bit of work to be done in the youth area um, and in the, in the senior men's area. Um, from a female perspective though, growth is, is, continues, to, uh, continues to grow quickly. We've got um, 10 clubs that are uh, fighting out for the, um, uh, for the Premiership and uh, that's one of the great things about a competition is that uh, all the clubs, uh, you know, they want to they win the big prize at the end of the year and um, um, it was very, very even last year. We saw a grand final which is you know, one of the best ever, uh, one point margin to uh, the Red Legs and I think we'll see a pretty close competition again this year. Attendance is North Adelaide, the siren sounds! The Red Legs are Premiers, they win by a point! An extraordinary Sandful record, 146 years of competition. Okay, it's time for our regular coffee catch up, thanks to Jack's Cafe at Hungry Jack's. This time, Ben Keyes sits down with speedster Will Hamill to recall his favourite Crows moment. Massive thank you to Hungry Jack's for supporting the club. Uh, we really appreciate all they do for us. Uh, they're amazing, so thanks a lot. I'm really, really excited about this one. I say that genuinely because I've got the man on the show today. It's Will Birdsnest Hamill. How are you going, Will? Yeah, good, Keys. Good to be on, mate. I've been uh, looking forward to this one for a few weeks now, so. Mate, you're one of the, one of, one of the characters of the group, I would say. You're, uh, how have you been going? How are you going this year? How's it yeah, everything's going all right. You know, hopefully you're looking forward to cracking to the AFL team soon, but you know, all positive, which is nice. You've got a few nicknames at the club and you also throw a few around. Uh, can you, kids, tell us a bit about some of those. What are the ones you've thrown around? What of the sum that have come back your way? Oh, some signs I've thrown around. Stinky for Sholy. Sholy, because he's, um, he's kind of refuses to wear deodorant, which is uh, <laughs> a bit unfortunate. But Shocking. Yeah, so Shocking. He, um, he definitely needs to pick up his personal hygiene. But yeah, that's probably just stinky. I reckon that's probably the best one. And, uh, and bird's nest keys, you've also thrown my way after yeah. I came in with a bit of hat hair one day. Never lived that one down. Yeah, Can you tell with, us a bit about that? With a, with a non-contact hat you were wearing, you just couldn't really get the product during the weights <laughs> the, the rest of the day. So it was just... It was just a bit crazy and uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't like you were not a hair out of place so I just had to let you know about it. No, you did. You let me know for sure and uh, yeah, I had to pick up my game from there. Can you tell us a bit about what your favourite Crows moment has been? Favourite one would have to be my first win. Um, had to wait till my second year of playing in 2021 for the Geelong game, which was a pretty special win. It was, um, they were coming off the, um, the grand final and we just, uh, just finished on the bottom so no one really gave us a chance but that was an amazing win that one and um, yeah, definitely very special to me. Victories, the most unexpected victories are the best. Stand up like Matthew Nix and roll like you never had before. Awesome, mate. Absolute ripper here, guys. Will Hamill, thanks so much for coming on, mate. Really appreciate it. Absolute pleasure. No worries. <laughs> nah, we're not doing that. <laughs> what a great win. Stay with us after the break. We'll meet the second youngest player on the Crows list. Well, what a feast of footy we've got ahead of us next weekend when all 18 teams play here in Adelaide. And the Crows will launch the historic Gather Round on Thursday night, taking on the Blues. Each week, Flight Centre flies us around the country to learn about our next opponent. And this time, we checked in with Carlton captain, Patrick Cripps. Well, I love Adelaide Oval, it's nice and narrow, so um, as an inside meal that means a lot of stoppages mate, so it's one of my favourite grounds to play at, so um, no, we're looking forward to it, um, yeah, it'll be a good battle, I think we kick it off against the Crows, so um, yeah, it'll be a good atmosphere and then it'll be a great footy sort of festival weekend. Blues getting numbers back, Walker goes back in and gets it again, flicks it over his head, Berry, buried, Mike Cripps, Cripps, 
numerous times at the Essence now. I think the whole concept's awesome. Um, you know, it's great for SA to sort of show off, show off their state, but also for you know all fans there to sort of <laughs> get in one spot and have the ability to watch nine games of footy. So uh, I think it's a great concept. I think every year just rotating in different cities is going to be good for the game. Savour and Adelaide fans. Classic win at home. No doubt the best way to see footy is at the ground. So make sure you have your seats for all the action this year with an Adelaide Crows membership. Flexible and affordable memberships start from $35 a game. Join the Crows family today at crowsmembership.com.au. Now, 44 disposals and four goals in a Sandful game is bound to catch the eye of any recruiter. It certainly helped convince the Crows to draft Billy Dowling from North Adelaide at the end of last season. And as he embarks on an AFL career, he'll be reminded to always find time away from football. Thanks to Jones Radiology, let's get a clearer picture of what he gets up to. I'm Billy Dowling. My first fight of today is um, in 2020 after we won the Intercol um, St Peter's College against PAC. Um, it was a really special day for not only the team but the, um, but the school. It was the first time we'd won since 2013 and I think the only time we'd won in a couple of decades. So um, it was a great moment for me and the boys. I think I pictured there with three uh, mates and one of my mates who was injured at the time. Definitely goes down as one of my favourite memories of my football career at the moment. And yeah, probably realising how you know, momentum was just not for the team but for the school would probably you know, intrigue me more of how much I love footy and the reason why we play it. My next photo is um, there with a couple of my mates, at, um, one of my best mates, 18. Yeah, it probably signifies to me um, how important friendships are outside of footy. Um, you know, whenever I'm not um, playing footy, I have a day off or during the holidays, I like going fishing and um, skiing with my mates and stuff like that and just getting out and about with them. Um, so yeah, it definitely signifies you know, how important friendships are to me. Third photo is there um, with Nixie, obviously the night of the draft. That was a very special night, um, obviously because I got drafted, but you know, I was just sort of watching with my family and um, you know, within a few minutes all my mates had come around and barged in and then Nixie came about 10, 15 minutes later. So it was a pretty awesome night. I couldn't have been more happy. And um, yeah, obviously being there with Nixie was just a very proud moment for not only myself and my family. And um, having my mates there as well, as I alluded to earlier, was also very important and special for me. So um, yeah, very happy obviously and thought I'd share that to Instagram. Retirement never stops some players giving back to the club and Big Source simply can't stop. Coming up, we'll hear more about his new role. One of the most passionate and committed members of the Crows community, Sam Jacobs is the new chair of the Past Players and Officials Board. I can't think of a better person than Sam to lead our group as it reaches out to more than 250 past players and many more staff. It really is about linking the current with the past. Um, you know, all the players, the staff, and everyone who's involved at a footy club. And we're very fortunate at the moment. Nixie and Adam Kelly are really leading the way in that. They're really including all the past players and the staff in that. Sam stresses the importance of protecting the welfare of all players. Our Hardship and Wellship Fund is something we're continuing to grow and something we're really passionate about. So this, I guess, on top of what the AFLPA do, this gives us a, a closer connection with our past players and it allows them that, you know, if they are going through a hard time or if there is an area that we as a club can continue to help them with, um, you know, they know that the PPO is there to be able to assist them with it. A major focus this year will be to revive the Father-Son-Daughter Academy, which lapsed during COVID. This is a big night for the club as all the players, you know, you can see how much excitement and joy they get when they be able to see their kids on Adelaide Oval and, and I guess playing in Crows colour. So 
we're really looking forward to bringing that in. Um, obviously, AFLW is becoming a key part of this as well now. Um, you know, we're starting to get a bit of a turnover of players as, as we've been around, um, you know, for seven or eight years in the AFLW. So hopefully we can uh, continue to get them involved as, you know, players like Courtney Cramey and Talia Radan are, are integral parts of the past players as well. Sam encourages fans to become involved in the history of the club and learn more about our past players. Key part of my job is, I guess, incorporating everything in club fabric. So, um, you know, I'm, I sit on the heritage committee with a lot of former employees here at the club, and you know, that's a way of celebrating our, our footy club and our, our heritage. And the best way we do that is through the Crows History Locker online. So, I encourage all Crows fans to, to have a look at that, as there's some fantastic things there. Nobody loves the club or its people more than Sam Jacobs. Now it's time to find our crow in the crowd. Whenever you take a photo of yourself or a friend at one of our games and post the social media, make sure you use the hashtag WeFlyersOne. Plenty of happy faces to choose from. Let's settle on you. Please email faceinthecrowd at afc.com.au with photo ID to claim your prize of two tickets to Toyota's exclusive Hilux Hill at Adelaide Oval. Since day one, Toyota has been a generous supporter of the club and community football at all levels. Together this season, we're looking for weekly highlights from grassroots competitions in South Australia. Let's take a look at this week's winner. Remember, if you record a highlight or special moment from your local competition, simply email your entry to crowshow at afc.com.au to be in the running to win a fantastic Crows merchandise pack. That's about all we have time for in today's Crows Show. Make sure you keep an eye on the club's website for all the latest news and check out our social media accounts, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. Thanks for your company and I look forward to joining you again next Sunday at 2 o'clock on 7. Bye for now. This program is brought to you by Hungry Jacks. The burgers are better.